today's question. Give me your favourite two-horned character. We're going to be having a look at how the Cyclops evolved throughout all of Skylanders. So let's get right into it. In Chapter 8, Crystal Eye Castle, we see the first ever Cyclops in a Skylanders game. And it is the Timid Clops. And they are these very weak like Cyclops that throw explosive barrels down slopes, which leads to be a fairly easy obstacle to dodge because you can simply just break the barrels, but that means that you always have to be careful or else you will get damaged by the barrels. In the same chapter we see the Cyclops Chopper, who wields an axe and spins round, and you cannot hit this enemy when he is spinning, but when he gets dizzy, that's your main time to attack. Overall, this enemy is fairly easy. He'll throw stones that will break your bones. It's the Cyclops Chucker. He throws stones at you, but they only move in a straight line. So I guess they're fairly easy to dodge and they can't be destroyed. Last but not least, we see the Cyclops Mammoth, which is a deadly one-eyed beast. But luckily it's on a leash. So don't worry, just get a long range Skylander and don't get too close to this guy because he can pack a punch. In Chapter 23, Empire of Ice, we see the Chucker, which is exactly the same as the stone throwing Cyclops we saw earlier, except it has a Christmas hat on and it throws snowballs. In the same chapter, we see the Noodles prototype. I had no idea that this was a thing, but he shoots three orbs with his strange looking staff, and I, I am just so mind blown as to the fact that this guy is what Noodles looks like. <laughs> Very strange. And the last Cyclops in the whole Sparrow's Adventure game is the Fury Clops, which is just the Cyclops chopper but with a Christmas hat on. Got to say, you're looking pretty fashionable. On to Giants now, in Chapter 4, Cutthroat Carnival, we see the Mohawk Cyclops, which has an axe and works exactly the same as the Cyclops chopper from Sparrow's Adventure. But, of course, as you probably guessed, has a Mohawk. Way later on in the chapter, when you're about to get to the end of the level, you're greeted by the Executioner, which is a type of Cyclops, but it has two eyes with it. Don't think about it. And he chucks axes, but then brings them back again with psychic abilities, I guess. And he can also swing his axe at you and then teleport. I, this guy has a lot of health for chapter 4, so I personally like to think of him as a little mini boss because there's only a few of him in the whole level. Even though you don't fight him, in chapter 5 Glacier Gully, Noodles the Cyclops tries to get in your way from freeing uh, the ghost bot guy and getting his giant arcane suit back. So you don't fight him or anything like that, but I still think that he's annoying. Later in the chapter we see the Bagel Boom, which is a Cyclops that has bombs in his backpack and he throws it at you. But don't worry, if you dodge the bombs, then you'll be able to pick them up and use them against the Bagel Boom. Mm, doesn't sound great for him. Two minutes after, we see the Armoured Mohawk, which is just a normal Mohawk Cyclops, but with more health. And we can even place Sky Stones with a good Cyclops that seems to not actually know who the Skylanders are. What's up with that? And we actually see an enemy now. It's the Slobbering Muticus. And I have to say, it is a disgusting looking mutant that has a cyclops riding on it, but if you take it out enough, the cyclops will disappear and it will go completely wild. Usually it chucks slime at you from its mouth, but it will just go absolutely crazy when the cyclops comes off of it. Almost at the end of the level, you accidentally stumble across an arena and it is Pipsqueak the Cyclopses and he seems to be the king of all the Cyclopses very scary I must say and after taking out a bunch of his useless minions in an arena fight you have to mess with the big guy him okay that wasn't too hard but once you take out his useless lackey I'm sure you'll be fine in chapter 10 Bone Islands in Swap Force now we see the Cyclops Cold Spear which is a basic cyclops that tries to jab you with a pointy spear. In the same chapter, we see the Cyclops Gazer Mage, which has a powerful magnifying glass that shoots sunrays at you. But don't worry, because you get a little warning first and a little sound, just to make sure that it's not too unfair. In chapter 11, Winter Keep, 
you see the Cyclops Sleep Thrower, which is a lobbing type of character who chucks snowballs at you with a big shovel. And you get like a little target on the ground to show where the snowball is going to go, which is extremely handy. But be careful, these snowballs do a lot more damage than you would think, and if you get hit by them, then it'll slow you down for a little while. Later on in the level, we see the Twist Pick Cyclops, which is not your ordinary spinning Cyclops. Well, yeah, I mean, it does spin and blocks attacks whilst it's spinning, but it actually dashes towards the Skylanders and kind of locks onto them, but only for a little bit, and then you will have a, a good enough time to attack them whilst they're dizzy. A very unique type of enemy, especially for a Cyclops, and I'll give them that, but he's not very powerful. In the chapter after, chapter 12, Frostfest Mountains, we see the Cyclops Brawl Buckler, which is actually a very powerful enemy, so just because of the funny cutscene, please take him seriously, because they're pretty powerful. And they hold their shields up and then whack you with their mace, or at least try to, and that is when you can attack, when their guard's down. But yeah, please be careful with these guys, because they can take like half of your health. But the only Cyclops in Trap Team is Noodles, and that is in the expansion pack Nightmare Express. And uh, once again, you don't fight him. There's so many missed opportunities here, guys. It's making me sad. The only Cyclops we see in Superchargers is this one that doesn't have a name. And it kind of shoots these magnet bombs at you, it kind of throws them at you. And there's a little target on the ground, just like the Cyclops Sleep Thrower. We don't see any Cyclops in Skylanders, and we haven't seen any since Superchargers. So, I mean, hopefully we can get some for Ring of Heroes. One can dream. The Skylander Eyebrow is definitely a Cyclops, because his brother's a Cyclops, Diveclops. Oops, spoilers. And he came out in Skylanders Giants, and is a giant for the undead element. And of course, as I said, Diveclops, which is the Cyclops, definitely, because Eyebrow is Diveclops brother and it, you know what I mean uh, he came out in superchargers he is a supercharger and he's for the water element and yeah he, he, he doesn't look very similar to eyebrow if you really think about it but whatever well I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please tell me if I missed any Cyclops characters out which I most definitely have so please go ahead because I love getting corrected by people that was sarcasm, we'll see you guys later.